Hey everybody and welcome back. We are going to start today with the Satin Shield Serum because we want to protect her hair from the heat. Now this is Ange and yeah, she snuck off and she got herself a relaxer. <laughs> so, you know, um, at first, you know, when people tell you that they got a relaxer, first you just like, what? And then, you know, you just go from there because, I mean, whatever is done is done and there's no need to harassing her because she did it. So today we're just going to take a look at her hair and, you know, see what went on with it since she's gotten that relaxer. She did it last year, I think, um, September 2020. So if you look here, she basically has some tension alopecia. Um, if you have watched my videos, two videos back, I did an alopecia episode. So go check that out if you haven't seen it. But she has tension alopecia because Ange is in the army and she wears a ponytail pretty much at all times. So that tension from just always pulling and pulling her hair basically has destroyed her hair follicles right there. And I told her that I suggest that she goes to a dermatologist for a second opinion and see if they can help her with that. So here I'm just going to part out the first section and get ready for the blow dry. Now if you look closely you can kind of see a band where her new growth is coming in. So it's about an inch, uh, inch and some change um, that has grown in of her natural texture again. So, and also, as you can see, the relaxer, she, it's not like her hair got super de duper straight, but it definitely knocked that curl pattern out. Now, while I'm blow drying, I just want to talk to y'all a little bit about the difference between perms and relaxers. So, you know, when I was growing up, you know, people would just call it perm. Like, I'm getting my hair perm. I'm getting a perm. Um, I was raised by my great grandma, and she used to take me to the salon to get a vigor roll. And oh my God, it was just this funky mix that they put on your hair and put a cap on it until it got straight and then rinse it out. And I mean, I can smell it just talking about it. Vigor roll was so stank. <laughs> but. You know, I'm just used to hearing people say perm my whole life. And, you know, the truth is we don't get perms. We get relaxers. So, well, at least in my culture, most of the time, I would say that we were getting relaxers. So here, let me just give you a close up of this little band here of new growth. Um, I'm going to stretch it a little bit. So you see it's like a little bit more than an inch that's grown in. Um, but again, like a lot of her texture is still there. It's just not what it was whatsoever. But, you know, it's not silky straight. But she still has a little texture to it. And over here, you see it is a little straighter than it is in the center. That's a lot of times because during the application process, I've noticed that a lot of people push their hair up into like a ponytail motion and they just smooth the edges out more than any other section. So a lot of times the middle of the hair ends up not taking as well as the edges or I would say that we over process the edges and um, the middle is probably just right. Now I'm just going to go in with my hair strands of hair shears and I am going to trim her ends. Now we were thinking that Ann's hair was going to be way worse than this, but it actually looks pretty amazing. So all she needs is a trim. She does have a few really sheer spaces um, within her ends. So I'm just going to trim enough that we get that thinness off and those broken ends. So probably like an inch, inch and a half. Now, when you see me cutting like this, just laying the hair on a light cape and cutting straight across, this is considered freehand cutting. And this is not the way you learn how to do in school. So if you're in school or if it's your first few years of doing hair, I suggest doing it the way you were taught by pulling it down between your index and pointer finger and cutting like that. 
But if you've had time and patience and practice, then you can go in with freehand. If I were you, I would start practicing on a mannequin and not on human hair because it's super easy to make a mistake. So you really have to know exactly what you're doing in order to get this technique down and practice makes perfect. Well, practice makes better because, you know, we're never going to be perfect, but practice makes better. So I'm just going to go in and I am going to complete this trim around the perimeter of her hair. Now I'm clearly just moving around to the front in the frame of her face because we decided to just cut it in the shape that it was already growing and just taking those straggly ends off. Um, her hair actually is really heavy and healthy and shining and beautiful. So, you know, I always tell people like, you know, just like how I talk about heat, like heat is not the enemy, lack of knowledge is. And although I am team no relaxer, <laughs> you know what I mean? I still feel like you can ultimately have healthy hair with a relaxer as long as you take care of it correctly. The truth is some people's hair does even better with a relaxer. And I've seen so many people talk in the comments about that um, on Instagram, just how, you know, when they had a relaxer, their hair was like a lot longer and it grew faster and they were easily, it was much easier to take care of. Um, so, you know, everything is not for everybody. Of course, we like natural because it's like, you know, people look at it as being yourself or just not putting chemicals in your hair and anything harsh on it. But at the end of the day, like I say with anything, we talking about baby hair, we talking about hairstyles, we talking about colors, like be you. Whatever you feel like is best for you, whatever works the best for you, don't let anybody tell you what you should and shouldn't be doing. You know what I'm saying? If it works for you, it works for you. And as individuals, we all have opinions on what works. And at the end of the day, you ultimately have to do what's best for you. It's like... We all just judge and we, we all go back and forth and have arguments and try to convince each other to see it our way when it's like, no, we should just agree to disagree, respect each other's opinions because somebody getting a relaxer is not bothering you. So as you see, her hair is nice and healthy and she's going to be fine. And actually she's going to transition back out of it again. So she got her relaxer because being in the army, it's just tough it's tough to do your own hair especially when you really don't have the knowledge to take care of your natural curl and you have to slick it back in a ponytail at all times so she did what worked for her and now that she's home she's just going to transition and keep taking care of her tresses Another thing with cutting, if you are in school, if you still have practical testing in your state, you know that you learn not to cut past that knuckle. So just, you know, when you see me doing things, I know a lot of times I've been seeing this thing floating around like YouTube is not cosmetology school and you, they are right. And so don't pick up certain habits of people who've been doing this for years. Just do what they say you have to do to pass your test. And then you start doing what's most comfortable for you. So don't cut past that first knuckle. It's more of a safety thing so that you won't cut your hand. So look at that, it looks nice and heavy and moisturized. I used the First Class to Morocco shampoo on her today and the Resurrection Mask to give her some protein into her hair. Um, so I feel like it looks good, it's moving, and you know, she's gonna be fine. 
Now I'm just going to hit the nape um, so you can see these spots back here where that traction alopecia is hitting her. Um, but I'm going to trim this nape because it's split as well. So remember I told y'all never skip the nape or the edges because it's hair there that split too. And you want to get those splits off because if not, they're just going to split upward just like pantyhose when you get a hole in your pantyhose. It starts running. That's how splits in your hair work. So you want to make sure that you are doing what you can to make sure that those ends are solid from root to tip. So next I'm about to go in with my 22 Titania flat iron and as I told you on the last video they're in root so within the next I would say two weeks I should have a solid date for the next release. I know a lot of people has been asking and the flat irons are definitely coming back so just look out for that announcement. Um, I'm going to go in on Ange hair and I'm not going to make the curl too tight and I'm also not going to make it too loose. She wants a lot of volume today but we don't want to hike the hair up too much because she wants her length to show so we're not even we're not necessarily going to do a drunken curl and we're not going to do no tight curls we're just going to do somewhere right in the middle Okay, so back to us talking about the difference between perms and relaxers. So perms are applied to the hair and it only goes on hair that is naturally straight. It's used to introduce curls to the hair. The process is achieved by the chemical along with perm rods. When applied to the hair, the hair takes the shape of the rod and then they are neutralized. Any size rod or curler can be used to achieve whatever size curl is desired. Now with relaxers, relaxer is a permanent hair straightening method. This chemical will stretch the natural curl pattern. Once applied and the desired level of straightening is reached, then the process is stopped and removed with neutralizing shampoo. The hair will remain straight until new hair growth comes in. And there is no way to naturally reverse either one of these processes. So I want to hear from you, like, have you ever had a perm or have you ever had a relaxer? Do you still currently have one? Let me know what you think your hair did better with. Do you feel like your hair is better natural or relaxed? I feel like my hair is better in its natural state just because I have more options and I just enjoy knowing what my hair can do. As you know, if you're if you've been on my channel for a while, you know, like last year, I put up a video that was like, I was today years old when I found out my hair could do this. And I literally, I guess like maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago, realized that my hair literally curls up when it gets wet. And as long as you use the right products and do the right techniques, you can enjoy what your hair is capable of. Now, what I do know is that's not for everybody and everybody's not interested in having curls for a long time. I wasn't even because I was simply afraid of what it was gonna look like, you know? So, you know, just my, my past and being raised by my great grandma again, you know, she was rough with me, okay? I was, I was just raised to think that my hair was just so bad, like I'm doing air quotes. I had bad hair and all of that where it's like, now I push the agenda of all hair is good hair because of the things that I've witnessed, the things that I've been through, me sitting in the salon and listening to what other people say about their hair. It's like, no matter what your hair is like, just find what you love about it and just go from there. Um, and again, like I said, everything is not for everybody, like, but it's still a good thing to find the love in your real hair somehow. So I haven't had a relaxer on my hair since 2006, I want to say. And then around like 2012, I was going on vacation and my crazy self relaxed my edges and I shouldn't have done that. Like <laughs> it, it tore my edges up. So I was like, yeah, that's not for me anymore, you know, and 
you know, I, I just, I don't know. Again, like you have to take care of your hair. Like I think that, so if you have relaxer on your hair, using reconstructors is a really good treatment method to do at least once every month. Um, Nexus has a conditioner called emergency and if you use nexus emergency and then maybe one of their softening moisturizing conditioners after that is perfect because you want to just strengthen the hair also if you have a relaxer and you are doing the transition method where you're growing your relaxer out nexus emergency is really great for that too i'll try to see if i can find it um online and put the link for nexus emergency below and you can also use that strengthening treatment if you don't um have a relaxer it works for all hair types but i'm just saying like a lot of times with relaxers it breaks down the bonds so straight that you need a strengthening agent so I will try to find that and put a link for that conditioner below. And I'll also add the conditioner that you put in afterwards to soften the hair back down. I feel like her curls are coming out so nice and lustrous. Look at that shine, look at that shine. I also noticed with relaxed hair, when you add heat to it, it seems like the hair kind of like sticks together. Like, you know how if you use a holding spray and the hair just kind of like has this flat stuck together look? I feel like with relaxers that happens, um, but that's not really happening today. And I can't tell if it's because of the conditioner we use or what. But, you know, again, she hasn't had the relaxer since last September so you know maybe that factor is gone I'm gonna do a little research and figure that out I'm gonna figure out exactly what causes that in a lot of my videos I forget to talk about the aftercare so or how to wrap the hair so I'm gonna just do that right now how she's gonna take care of her hair every night. She can do a few things. She could put really big flexi rods in it to help keep the volume. She can pull it up like in a pineapple and like put like, like do the act as if she's putting it in a ponytail on the top of her head, but not use a ponytail holder cause she doesn't want any dents. And then you just tie your scarf like a big triangle and leave it super loose at the top so the curls can sit up in the top. And then in the morning, she'll just take her scarf off and shake it down. You always want to make sure you're using a silk or satin scarf because silk or satin helps produce moisture from the scalp, but cotton pulls it away. So that's why you don't want to just sleep on a bare pillowcase because most of the time it's cotton. If you don't like wearing scarves, get yourself a satin pillowcase and that will help. Also, when your curls get older or if you're just tired of the curls and you're ready for it to be flattened, just wrap it flat on your head. You know how to do just a regular wrap. We do it when we do the silk wraps all the time. And it'll just flatten the curls and make it more of a wrap effect. So, you know how that works is you're just basically using your head as one big roller. <laughs> one time I said that in the shop, they was like, why it gotta be a big roller? Like, listen, <laughs> it's a big roller, okay? Put that on and again, use your silk or satin scarf on, tie it flat, and then take it down the next day with a wide tooth comb. So right now I'm curling Angie's bang to the front because we, you know, want her to end up with a Justin Bieber bang, especially after she wraps it and brings it back down. You know how I feel about the Biebs bang. And then I'm going to take this glass brilliant shine. I'm, I'm pretty sure we have this in stock, deeperthanhair.com right now. And um, I'm just spraying her down with it. It is a light and airy shine. And you could leave the curls in or you could kind of break them up. I like breaking them up a little bit because it just looked even more fluffier. So she was down for the breakup, you know, so that's what we doing. And um, yeah, this is, this is how Ann's hair came out. I feel like it looks great. It's healthy, it's beautiful. We didn't have to cut too much. Um, here's her little bang action going on. And so what I'm about to do is on the other side, I feel like it looked a little formal. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to give her a little tuck behind the ear 
and then I'm going to take my flat iron and I'm going to kind of tighten that little curl that's hanging because I don't want it to get extra flat too soon. So Ange is pretty much done and um, I think she really likes it. Let's see if I can get a little <laughs> like she like what is going on? She is crazy. She is my Gemini sis. Wish is zodiac sign. Talk to me about that too. You know, a lot of people be hating on my sign, but we're like really good people. Wish is zodiac sign. Let's link up in the uh, comments and talk. Okay, and yes, it's looking pretty. Thanks for watching and see y'all next time.